Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install Python on your Windows 10 operating system. So first of all open your favorite browser and search for Python and the first link which will appear here will be python.org. So we are going to click on this link and once this website is open you will just scroll down a little and you will see download section here. At the time of making this video Python 3.8.3 is the latest version of Python available. So I'm going to click on this download link and in here you will see download the latest version for Windows. Now I will click on the link which says download Python 3.8.3 and it's around 25 megabytes file. So it will take a few minutes to download. And once this executable file is downloaded, I'll just go to the location where the downloaded file is stored. I'll just click on the executable files and will minimize the current window. And now you'll see the first window here. So I'm just going to say run. Now you can see the installation wizard is open. So by default, Python is installed on this path on your Windows operating system. But I would like to do is I would like to install python in my C directory so I can easily access that directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose the second option which says customize installation. Okay. So before choosing this customize installation you can also check the checkbox which says add python 3.8.2 path. So this is going to add this python installation to your path variables and now you just click on the customize installation. and we'll leave everything as default and then click on next and here what we want to change in the location so instead of giving this path for the installation directory we are going to just create a new directory python id in the c directory and then we are going to install python 3.8 inside that directory So this will be the path where I'm going to install the python. So just create quickly the directory to my C drive. So I'm just going to my C drive. And here you in you can see there is no python directory. So I'm just going to create a python directory here and uh, the name of the folder will be the python ide okay so this is what i have created so now this python will be installed in this directory on our windows operating system so quickly i'll go to that uh, window So now I'm just going to click on install and uh, then click on yes. It's just going to start the python installation. So it's not going to take a long time. It will be a very quick process to install python 3.8 on your windows operating system. And now you can see setup was successful. So python is installed on our windows operating system. So I'm going to close this window and check whether it's installed successfully and working fine or not. So I'm just going to click on the windows icon here and you'll see the recently added section python ideally. First of all which you will use to develop python projects and then you will see the python docs and also you'll see python 3.8 manuals and you'll see python command line prompt okay so first of all we are going to open this ideally ide 
and you can see this ideally IDE is open. So what I'm going to do is first is I'm going to configure this ideally and I'm going to make this fonts little bit bigger. So I'm going to just say I want a 20 font size and then I'm just going to click on apply then click OK. You can see this font size is a little bit bigger so you can see it easy. So now I'm going to print hello world here. So I'm going to write print statement that is hello world and then press enter and this will print hello world. This means ideally is working fine and you can just start using this ideally ID to develop your Python script. And also we are going to see Python command prompt. So click on windows icon and in here click on this icon which says Python 3.864 which is Python command line and here also you can just print hello world. So I am going to write print statement hello world and then press enter and this will print hello world and you can also use this python command prompt to just to quickly check that your script is working or not. Now if you want to python to work on your windows command prompt so just click on the windows icon and search for command prompt and click on cmd. Here you will see command prompt is open and in here I write python. Just write python command here and press enter. You can see because we have uh, checked this option to add this python to the system variable, the python will also work with windows command prompt. So when you give this python command, it's going to open this python shell and here also you can develop your script or you can check quickly your python script. So I'm going to once again write print hello world and uh, then press enter and it works. Yeah, you can see the hello world is printed. So you can also use this python command in your windows command prompt all. If you want to come out of this command shell, just uh, write quick with the parenthesis and press enter. You can also use control z in order to come out of this python command shell. Python also comes with the uh, pip which is python packet manager. So if you want to just check the version of pip, you want to check whether the pip is working, you can just write pip then hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. It's going to tell you which version of pip is installed. This is automatically installed with the python installation. You don't need to install pip in any extra way. So this is how you can download and install python 3.8, the latest version on your windows. 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Please like share the video and subscribe the channel for getting latest updates for tools and technologies.